Hey, everybody, and welcome back to some more Sky of Diamonds with Janky Nick. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome back. Hello. What is on, Isaac? How are you doing, man? How are you doing? Oh, welcome back. Oh, Nick, I have missed the, the warm embracing glow of the usrg nick i do oh, love oh man wandering around these ornate halls of it's um, great isn't it <laughs> of it's so fire good fire and brimstone <laughs> of fire and <laughs> <laughs> and gold and death oh. and you know just all round usrg ways of doing things welcome back everybody oh, you'd love to see it and isaac i was gonna say with great with great hell firepower comes great matter, Isaac. Oh, not great hellfire responsibility? Come and have a look in my little... Uh, <laughs> you can dance some oh, oh, Look at that. Goodness. That is a staggering amount of EMC, Nick. Like, how do you even spend that, right? I'm going to put 619G just in my pocket, bro. Like, check me out. It's like when, you know, like 50 Cent just talks about how he's got 50K in his, in his wallet. Yeah. I feel like that right now, Isaac. And I just imagine, I was like, damn. Whenever I hear it, I'm like, wow. That must be really impractical, man. 50K in your wallet. Like, I mean, you know, be carrying on this big wallet that, with you. That's quite, that's quite pricey, for sure. That's, that's <laughs> in what, cash. like, yeah. 50? No, 500 $100 bills, man. If they're like, if they're like fresh, crisp $100 bills, I imagine that could fit in, you know, fairly fairly easily right without hassle but if they're like crinkled and used and you know that would you wallet would be like five inches thick man it makes no sense yeah yeah well you know what isaac this is the world of uh, digital banking and, and, and credit cards and stuff so uh that's exactly what this is isaac all this g just taking up one inventory slot you love to see it man you love to see it you uh you think we could get 50 cent on to discuss his uh the practicalities Maybe. around carrying $50,000 around, like, in your pocket. Should I DM him on Instagram and see what he says? <laughs> we don't want to talk go. to you about, phone, like, though. we don't want to talk about your music or anything you do. We just want to know the specific practicalities of carrying around such large quantities of cash on you at all times. I mean, I'm sure he'd be, uh, he'd be into it, you know? I mean, 50 Cent's the type of guy who would love to do that, Isaac. Like, he wouldn't, he would prefer that to probably to asking about his music and stuff like that. I'm not even going to lie. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. But um, yeah, man, what are we going to do with all these Gs, all these grands? So, in the last stream, Nick, we were working, of course, on uh, getting to this Energy Condenser Mark II. Once we had it, we then started looking towards producing just a ton of EMC, right? So, right now, we're producing a bunch of this yellow matter via the use of the old glowstone generator here uh, alongside these uh, watches of flowing time, which are accelerating the speed at which EMC is being generated. And unfortunately, we can't put down even more of these watches because the server kind of takes um, a little bit of a, of a poop. It kind of screams at us, Nick, as soon as has we start to, to, uh, um, to try that. But has uh, to catch its breath, Isaac. It's like... <laughs> and then it's like, keep going. It's like me when I go on a run. I last about 10 meters, right? So the, it's the equivalent of me trying to sprint is us putting more watches of flowing time down. And then I'm, I like stop after 10 seconds. I, <laughs> and then I walk for a bit. And then I try to <laughs> sprint again. And then I have to take another break immediately. That's essentially what's going on with the server, Isaac. These right. watches of flowing time is like making the server try and sprint. And then it immediately runs out of juice and has to kind of, you know, like lean against a wall and, you know, catch its breath and just think about what it's chosen to do or what we chose to make it do i mean it, by that logic i mean i guess we could we could try and make it a healthier server somehow by like uh, continually putting down <laughs> more <the watches>. <laughs> more power <laughs> isaac more power <laughs> uh, but i guess um the other way to do it isaac is to um what i would call um be lazy uh, aka isaac give it a break and we're gonna give it a break by making some power flowers yeah, so, I mean, while you were talking there, like, I have managed to put together our first white matter. I actually have 14 Ooh. white matter Ooh, here, which I wow. think is the highest tier. Oh, no, sorry, there's fading matter. Hold on. Oh, really? Yeah, there's one above. Oh, you can turn my. three white matter into one fading matter, and then you can turn one fading matter into a fading matter controller, which is part of the uh, the whole power flower infrastructure. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. that's. Um, I guess that makes sense that they want the biggest, most baddest one. Well, so, as you mentioned, we are going to start working, hopefully today, on a mod called Project EX, which is a Project E add-on mod that adds things like the uh, 
flower power bonsai pots, which are yes. passive bonsai pots that produce EMC. And as it says in the tooltip, server TPS friendly generates EMC only once a second. So to stick with the maybe ever so slightly out there analogy that you've already locked us into, Nick, if running these watches of flowing time is like trying to get you to sprint, using these power flowers is like us putting you into an uber to get to your destination as opposed to sprinting there right yeah it's like much it. more friendly like on it. your uh... <laughs> on, on my on myself <laughs> but at the same time does incur uh, you know the, the the downsides of uh of installing being bad habits and, more and expensive and not, yeah and being more expensive yeah. of course yeah, yeah so. <laughs> exactly power flowers just like Uber, <laughs> TM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, this is why I wake up tomorrow to a cease and desist letter, Nick, and, you know, the, the whole yeah, channel gets taken the down. And... gone, yeah. Yeah, or I wouldn't be surprised, man. We get uh, offered a, a position at Uber, Nick, one of the two, right? You know, you never know what could happen. Yeah, maybe. Maybe like a deal. Yeah, yeah. I hope I hope the latter, man. Yeah, okay. So you're working on the flowers. Do, if I remember correctly, do these come in kind of two, two parts? Um, if I type in project... EX, there is the um, the matter collectors, which is what we're calling the power flowers, and there's also the relays. Well, no, so I think well, the thing we're talking about are the flower are the flower bonsai pots, which are further down. Oh yeah, yeah, we are. and that's like both of them put together, isn't exactly, it? Exactly. Like, yeah. Uh, so the yeah, component, the collectors, cool. and the relays are just like the component parts of the power flower bonsai pots themselves. They're the actual things. That we're looking to make yeah yeah that makes that makes sense my goodness the final one makes freaking 48 t per second 48 t per second that's even so the, much tea even the queen doesn't get that much tea man i know she loves it. she want one of these yo queenie check out our yellow matter well we don't have it yet but i will advertise it to her check out our final power flower bonsai pot baby 48 t's per second love to see it man so I think, so if we're going to get to that stage, Nick, I think we're going to have to employ some form of auto crafting because even if you just look at the first tier, right? If you look at the basic power flower mark one, to make it, it requires six basic relays with two basic collectors and a basic energy EMC link. The basic relays are made with obsidian and it's analysis fuel. And then, you know, the analysis fuel is made. We can make all that stuff with EMC. Um, to make the second tier, though, you do need the previous tier, right? So you have to kind of move up through each tier. So each subsequent relay is made with the previous tier of relay and then like a new color of matter. So I think in terms of automating this, what we might want to do is maybe try and set up some kind of automation with energy condensers, maybe um oh right okay so set up an energy condenser you know put one of these relay things in and then have it make loads and then that can be our, our juice yeah we could i actually don't know how i want to uh how i want to automate that honestly like could hmm. we could we just cheese it and you know put one basic relay in there and then make you know loads of basic relays and then put one basic collector in there and then make loads of basic collectors and then you know put one basic energy EMC link in there and then make loads and then, you know, just move on to the next afterwards. Yeah. I Maybe. <laughs> like, I, so I've got a basic relay mark one. Let's see if I can also get a basic uh, collector here. So the basic collector is made from nine basic collectors. Wait, that makes no sense. Yeah. Is, is the I think the... I saw this as well. I think the, it's a compressed basic collector. So the glowing one is compressed, right? And we need the compressed ones. We need the glowing variants. We need the glowing variants, Isaac. Um, yes. So after that, we need the next. It's a bit, it's kind of like hard to, because the fact that you need to compress them is, is, is complicated, right? I propose, Nick, that we turn off the EMC farm temporarily yes, right because i agree that's going to free us up to actually like use this use this energy condenser right so what you're proposing here nick is that we use our massive amount of emc to do something like this and make just a stupid amount of mark ones and exactly. then you know, take those and then make a stupid amount of mark twos and then kind of just go and craft the heck out of all of those and and try and get to the highest tier like as fast as possible exactly essentially like what we did with the matter 
Just do the same, but with the um, these collectors. Yeah, sure. Like I, I can, I can do that, Nick. I can do that. Excellent. Um, cool, cool. What shall I do? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, this is kind Whoa. of what I've been trying. Okay, so to... one thing that we could, an, another thing that we could definitely do with Nick is the uh, transmutation table or tablet. Mm. Like mm -hmm. that's going to allow us to. Uh, that would be very nice to have. Here we go. Let's have a look. Yeah. So the table um, and the tablet. The tablet needs the table, so we'll save the table. Right. I mean, Nick, looks... okay. You know what? Let's let's <laughs> let's swap roles. Okay? okay. I'm gonna hand you. I'm gonna put these bits that I've made in the system. I'm gonna give you the job of making the highest tier power flower you can possibly make within the next uh, 50 minutes. All right. G give me the money, bro. Cheers. It's bro. all in the yeah, system. Right. Like I'll, you've I'll... got the whole cash. I'll work on making the uh, you the make transmutation the you tablet. make the thing with the weird items that are like you know <laughs> sparking around and I looked... you know. I looked at the uh, the recipe and saw the neutronium ingots, and I was like, "All right, I've got to let's." <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I was like, "Oh god, here we go." <laughs> so I mean, at least we're on the same uh, we're on the same page there, Isaac. So yeah, very much so, Nick. Very much so. Yeah, that's that's fine, man. That's fine. Okay, um, right. So step one for me is like resource gathering. So you've left the stuff here. Yeah, you've got the tier one. You can start making like. Because we don't even have to make each tier of a flower, right? You can kind of just jump straight to the highest tier that we have the exactly. ability to make. Yeah, cool. So I can... I'm just seeing, like, if the relays need the previous versions. So, like, a a basic relay. I think they do? Sure. So this needs that. Um, and then we'll have a look at the Mark Three. The Mark Three needs the Mark Two with some red matter. Okay. That's fine. Let's do that. I do have a question for you, Nick, that does not pertain Please? to uh, to EMC. We talked to, you know, we've got this very ornate place right here. If you had just a ludicrous amount of money, like, you know, an insane amount of money, do you think you'd uh, you'd you'd go with the uh, extremely over-the-top extravagant, like, everything made of gold aesthetic? Hmm. Well, I do like ornate, Isaac. Hmm, okay. That, I must admit, um, like marble like in real life right like yeah marble would you have like a solid gold toilet i mean <laughs> it, if i did isaac i wouldn't want to admit to it right but i mean do you already have a solid gold toilet <laughs> <laughs> looks over at on suite uh, or... I imagine no. you're in like a small apartment, everything is completely modest and like normal. Everything, and then everything you open, normal. Up the, open up the, the en suite and it's just it's so extravagant. You've got like a diamond encrusted bathtub with like a ornate golden toilet and You know oh. you know what the best bit is? If you ask any of my friends, they would be like, That's that's what he'd do. That's the one thing he'd get. If he could make a solid gold anything, it would be a toilet. And you know what? They're so right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I can so believe right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't put it past myself um, is is all I'll say. Man. That's fair enough. Man. Um, That's fair enough. Yeah. I don't know if I'd go with like uh, such to such <laughs> extremes, but maybe, man, <laughs> you know, if money becomes no object. Like, I'll tell you what, you know. Isaac, it'd be so cold, man. You think? I mean, I don't know about you, but I've, I find toilet seats cold enough. Yeah, like, for sure. They're like cold. Do you think there's a market for heated toilet seats? I mean, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, I have one. Uh, it's on my gold toilet. <laughs> I, I have my fa my family in my family home in the main bathroom. There is a heated toilet seat. Wow. Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. What? Uh, that's, back that at the, is a thing. Back at the palace, we do have a heated toilet seat. I'm ashamed to admit. What in the world? Well, that's crazy. It's like a yeah. It's like a um. It's like a Japanese style toilet, right? right? In so the UK. In the UK, so you it. You're, you just to clarify, change. you're not from Japan. I'm not from Japan. No, no. Don't worry. I mean, <laughs> so I'd worry, but no, I'm not. In <laughs> case you were confused. <laughs> <laughs> in case you got me being lied to this whole time. Yeah. Never fear. I'm I'm not Japanese. Okay. Um, but 
we were getting a bathroom change. This was like, what, like six years ago now? Like, almost six years ago? And there's these, like, Japanese-style toilets, right? That um, they, they like, um, have washing features, Isaac, to reduce the needs of you needing to use toilet paper. Thus... Uh, sound like I'm saying an essay here. Um, thus you forth, know, in conclusion. Thus forth, <laughs> in conclusion, we went with one of those. Um, and yeah, it happened to be, it happened to have a heated toilet seat. And right. I mean, I'll tell you what, bro. It's freaking great, man. Heated toilet seat. That did solve, that did solve all of the problems. Like, I mean, problems is, you know, a relative term. But it solved the problem of cold toilet seats. So I'm uh, well. Uh, mm, okay, I've got I've got myriad questions here. So you Please have you go have for it. at your parents' home a heated toilet seat, right? The home you Correct. grew up in, toilet seat toasty. Is this yes. toilet seat permanently warm, or do you have to like pre-activate the warmth? Do you have to like give it a heads up, like, hey, I'm coming to take a a big old you know dump yeah, at three yeah, p.m. Yeah. Get warm for three me. Three p.m. <laughs> scheduled in the diary. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, this toilet seat has a remote control, Isaac. So it has like a, like a TV remote, right? <laughs> yeah, and so okay. you, you, it's like mounted to the wall. You sit down and you unhook this TV remote. <laughs> okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. You go into the bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. the, the toilet seat is currently not warm. No. Right, it's not like passively warm. Right? No, You're just it's burning. not passively warm. Okay. I mean, if so you, you leave it on, it can be. Right, okay. But you're like, traditionally, you leave it off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you walk in, you sit down onto the cold toilet seat, <laughs> take the remote <laughs> off the wall, hit the little fire icon, and it gets, <laughs> it gets warm. Ignites the fire. <laughs> <laughs> um i mean yeah like it heats up really quickly right so but literally you you go into the bathroom you push the power button on the remote and it turns on and pretty much by the time you've like lifted the seat and sat on it it's like getting warm um right so it's it's not like it, it has that kind of initial coldness right it's not initially cold and like, okay, so follow-up question. Is there like a, do you have the ability to set the temperature you want? Or do you, is it just like a set warm temperature? N yeah, yeah. it's just a set warm temperature. You cannot it's not programmable. set the temperature. Exactly. You can't set the temperature for the seat, but you can set the temperature of the, uh, what I will call the washing wand, Isaac. The wa <laughs> The washing wand. <laughs> <laughs> the washing wand being in the toilet used to wash a certain area post use of the lavatory is that the, exactly. the idea here okay exactly yeah, I'm beginning, I'm beginning to understand. exactly yes yes so you sit down and you push the wash button um of which there are multiple modes <laughs> right yep okay and um after that you um you know just let it do its thing and you can have it kind of go forward and back and you can control its position. You yeah, can, so what do the, all kinds of the, the, the chat asks like an interesting question. I was gonna say what's the difference between that and a bidet? I guess it's the, the myriad of functionality, right? Like I assume a bidet yeah. is like on off. Whereas this yeah. is like, you know, you can have it heated, you can, you know, change the direction, you can like have it, you know, RGB, you can like split the it stream. It does have a light, can... <laughs> Isaac. It does... <laughs> it, there is a light. Um, Fully programmable, uh, you know, 256 for, for, million colors. Or... <laughs> now I do, man. Fully programmable freaking RGB toilet light. I do wish. Right. Um, yeah. Like yeah yeah like a bidet is a separate thing right usually but you have to you know get yeah, off the toilet not, to get on the bidet not, i mean like, i don't think that's necessarily true i think you also get the, the like the what they call a health faucet right which are like those gun water guns on a pipe basically They're like hose pipes in your bathroom yeah like yeah well, i think i the, the the bidets that i've seen like in europe have definitely been separate entities to the 
toilet itself. However, I'm also pretty sure that like, you know, more modern bidets are just like built into the toilet, right? Like they just have them, like it's an all in one, an all in one machine, right? It's an all in one machine. Yeah. It's like when you get yeah. those notebooks that can also be tablets, right? Exactly. Oh, it's just exactly. the machine yes. the elders want. Yeah. That is that is also a thing. Yeah. So, so wait, how long yeah. have you had this? Did you grow up with this? This heated, you know, masterpiece of a toilet design? Like we got it when we changed our bathroom in like twenty fifteen, like early twenty fifteen. Right, okay. So it's not like, you know, three year old Nick was he's like wandering into the toilet and, you know, turning the heat on using the no, bidet no, right no, you, okay no, no. sure no All definitely right. not well I, it was i wasn't that <laughs> i wasn't that privileged where I, <laughs> i'm just, where I'm I just checking the you know i'm just trying to get, <laughs> get, a, get, a, get a feel for, for it yeah exactly 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 man exactly yeah, yeah yeah so we didn't have um that but you will probably recall isaac the story of me talking about how like i injured my eye um because we were getting our bathroom changed a load of sawdust went into my eye when oh, i sure, had contact sure, lenses yeah. in that was the same Chain, that was the bathroom, right? That was the culprit bathroom. I see, I see. Okay. This is madness, man. So like how does so like you don't live there now, right? So how no. how have you adjusted? Like to me, I don't think I could go back, right? Like if that you know, it sounds like it sounds perfect. How have you uh, it, it dealt with with moving away from having a heated self-cleaning toilet? It's like a smart hard, toilet man. system, yeah. And by hard, I mean it's not actually hard. I it's get incredibly used to it very easy. quickly. Yeah. It's one of those ones where you go when you go back, you're like, holy crap, this is so good. Like, how do I not live? Like, how do I live without this? And then when I come back um, to my own place, um, or right, in the previous years to my student house. I was just like, yeah, whatever. So I'm back, uh, you know, just back where I am. So I'm very, a lot of people in life are always like, oh, Mr. Princess, right? How do you adapt <laughs> to things changing? And I'm like, it's, I, I just do. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't like cry for my like, you know, gold leaf, freaking toilet paper, freaking, you know, Michelin star. <laughs> I'm just like whatever. I'll, I'll just I'll take I'll take whatever's available to me, right? And if whatever's available to me is a toilet seat that washes your ass, right? I then see. I'll freaking take it, man. I'll freaking take it. Wow. So I mean, like, would you? You know, would you? If you, I assume the place you're in right now, you don't own, right? Like you, you rent a place. No, it's rented. Yes. Yeah. If you owned your own place, would you? Would you make purchasing a similar toilet system a priority? I mean, this is something I've actually thought about. Um, and I don't think I'd make it a priority, right? Because I'd probably forget. But when then I'd go and visit home. And then I'd be like, oh, yeah, this is a thing. And then it would become a priority quite quickly. Um, so, kind of, yeah. We'll say yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that, it makes sense. I'm not going to lie, Nick. I would, if you know, if, if that Hell was yeah, something man. offered to me. Like, I, I'd be all about it. Like, I, I honestly didn't even know these were... Up until now, I had no idea you could buy heated toilet seats. I mean, it makes sense, of course. Yeah. Like, it seems like the sort of thing that's definitely doable, but... Yeah, I believe they're quite um, quite popular in Europe, like mainland Europe, um, because the we ordered this all this like stuff online, right? It's not in your standard kind of bathroom store sure. um, <laughs> yeah. in, in the UK. So we ordered it from this like European site, and... Like, I think they do really well. Like, that website, like, that company um, that resells all of these, like, toilet products from, like, Asia. So, yeah, I think it's quite popular in Europe, just not here. And, you know, I'm all so for So you're saying if popular. I want one, I can get one, but I have to import it? Well, you just you just order it. But, I mean, right. because of Brexit, man, I mean, I don't even know these days. Probably probably is, like, importing it in some form of the or the other, right? Quintupled in price or something. Yeah, exactly. So, there's that. But yeah, man, yeah, it's it's great. I, I'm I'm jealous, man. I want one. <laughs> it's freaking. There you go. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, so, so you're like, oh my. I mean, I kind of you know, I, I feel like the next obvious iteration on that is is adding the ability to uh, adjust the temperature of the seat. You know, if you want it to be really like uncomfortably warm, then I feel like that should be something that's available to you. So if you're watching this, uh, you know, people who make heated toilet seats, you know, bear that in mind i guess but uh what do you think like how Probably are we available talking? man like i reckon there are there's loads of different brands and loads of different iterations so i reckon yeah. that already exists also one of the biggest sellers of these 
toilet seats, Isaac, or toilet packages. Samsung. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, what just don't like they, they make everything. Yeah, yeah. Samsung uh, toilet seats, man. Very popular in South Korea and Japan, I'm assuming as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how how warm are we, how, the one you have? How warm does it get? How would you describe the warmth? Like verging on hot, right? Really? Like it right, gets okay. quite warm. Like it's not like some tepid, lukewarm, <laughs> no half measures, freaking, right? Like, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, exactly. It's not like some <laughs> like someone going. <laughs> You know, kind of heat. It's, this is the real right. deal, man. This wow. is the, yes, yeah, the real deal. Okay. So, like, given the option, you wouldn't go warmer? Probably not on the seat. Yeah, like, that is quite warm, Isaac. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, there you go. I've I've learned something new today, man. And uh, I'm not going to lie, it makes me look at you differently, man. I didn't know you were a multi-billionaire. So, you know, now... <laughs> I mean, I act like Juan Isaac, but, you know, the the substance isn't there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. I can't, I can't believe we've not talked about this before. Because I this, cannot believe it, no. Yeah, we would have, we would have... Well, I mean, when we got this installed was when we were doing YouTube, so, I mean... Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just surprised to mention it. But, yeah, clearly haven't. And there you go. There you go. <laughs> How's the... Uh... How's the 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 power flowers coming along, man? It's going very well, Isaac. So I'm 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 shooting for the fading one, right? So the second, highest tier, second best, right? The, okay. The actual highest tier is the final power flower bonsai pop, um, but I'm getting there. Like I've got the key components, um, like I've made them. Now I just need to EMC them up. So I need eighteen fading matter collectors, and then we've got it, man. We've got the freaking pop. All right, yeah, and I think we should be able to do that, right? Like, do you think we've got enough EMC to make it happen? I think so. Let's right. see. Well, there's only one way to find out, Isaac. So I need 18, and I mean, immediately this is um, this is. Oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll freaking have enough. <laughs> we've. Oh, Isaac, you freaking make two. Here wow. We go. Okay, are you using the condenser right now? I am. You, you, you really did me, Isaac. I was on my last one, but it's okay actually because I have the exact amount. I required a bit of lithium. Don't you worry about it. Here we freaking go. Let's let's bash this bad boy out. Oh, actually, no, I did it wrong. Is there anything, uh, anything else in your life that uh, you know is currently not heated that you would like to be heated? Ooh. Hmm. You were uh, you got you got heated car seats. Like heated, like heated seat, like that I'm sitting in right now. No, no, in your car, car seat. Oh yeah, I do. I oh, do. Wow, look at this guy. Um, thing about that though, right? Is so they are. You can like adjust those, um, quite like finely. But I don't like heated seats in cars. It makes me yes. feel like I wet myself. Yeah, Isaac. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. There's something that I don't like about my solely my like Your lower butt back feeling and my bum warm <laughs> being yeah, warm sure. yeah and it makes me feel a little bit too kind of hot and stuffy and stuff i i prefer the um the stuff that comes out of the uh the vents right sure yeah, yeah i yeah, think I that's like better yeah yeah so yeah the what about you man you got the old uh you got the old hs uh, i do not have heated seats no 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 heated seats on uh in the goc uh in the goc vehicle uh in the choice. goc whip don't worry, you're not missing <laughs> <Exactly>. that much. <laughs> no, well, I mean, I actively chose not to not to have them when I when I purchased the car. So I mean, uh, you know, they were like, "Oh, you could spend however much it is extra to get the heated seats," and I was like, "No, nah, you know, I'll, I'll pass." Like I've tried them before. My parents had uh, had heated seats, and I was just like, "No, I don't, you know, I don't think it's worth uh, like extra five hundred quid to have them installed." You know, it seems exactly, <laughs> it seems exactly, not worth yeah. it personally. That's fair. See, I bought mine used, so I just went for the mm, spec. Like, the, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Because you don't have to add it on, right? You don't have that feeling of like, oh, I'm spending That's 500 pounds on getting this feature. It was just kind of on my car. I feel like there's a difference. For sure. Nick, I have a, a transmutation table, by the way. Isaac, I've just freaking made the Fading Matter Power Flower Bonsai part. Oh, 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 nice. So like, if you just put that down anywhere in the world. Like freaking like right here. I think you should see in the top left. Do you have like an EMC like uh, network? Like, do you have oh, your own like? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see one thirty six G, one fifty five G, yeah, two hundred G. So I don't know if we can like share our EMC. I think we can. I think there's like a way for us to to share our knowledge. 
I don't know what the... There's a knowledge sharing book, but I don't think that does what it... I think it does. There's a command for it. Yeah, I'm I think certain. so. Well, if you... Here's a transmutation tip on it, because now if you uh, pop this open, you should see your EMC number in the bottom left. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's going up actively. Yeah, so you should be able to, like, uh, you know, begin to craft and, and transmute things in here. Yeah, make whatever I want. Yeah, and that's probably going to be easier than the energy condenser, right? Because you'd have to make, like, a thousand of them. You can just, like, have all your EMC there and then just pick what you want.